Do you think that $43,410 are a lot for a golf? Well, think again. This is the 2016 Volkswagen Golf R, and it is a blast. Under the hood, you get the 2.0 liter TSI motor straight from the Audi S3, making 292 horsepower and 280 pound-feet of torque. It can hit 100 kilometers an hour in 4.7 seconds. When you use launch control, of course you need also the DSG gearbox to do that. If you're thinking torque steer along the way, you are wrong because this thing has four motion. That's what the company calls their all-wheel drive system that uses a Huldex electromagnetic coupling system to bring the rear axle into the game. It can send up to 50% of the power to the rear axle and all that XDS differential trickery that happens at the front also happens at the back. Top speed is limited to 250 kilometers an hour so they could do without the speedometer reading up to 320 because they use increments of 10, then 20, then 30 and it's kind of hard to understand if you're doing 120, 130, 140 and in places like Toronto, that can be ticket or no ticket. Performance-wise, it might blow your mind, but when you go to the pump to actually refuel, your mind can remain fully sane because this thing only consumes about 9.9 .9 liters of premium unleaded for every 100 kilometers. That is very, very reasonable for what you get. The technology package fitted to this one adds adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitors, lane assist, Discover Pro Radio, Front Assist Automatic Emergency Braking, Park Distance Control, Front and Rear, and Satellite Navigation. Standard gear is really impressive too. By default, you get this infotainment system that supports Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and MirrorLink. You get bi-xenon headlights, 19-inch rims, leather interior, dual-zone climate control, and dynamic chassis control, which basically means adaptive suspension that works extremely well. The body is just like a regular five-door Golf, which means it looks good, it's roomy, and it's practical. On top of that, it is the only Golf currently imported from Germany, and that can make a difference. The interior is well-built, nice soft-to-touch materials have been used for all upper parts and door panels. Rattles and squeaks are nowhere to be found, and ergonomically, there are no complaints whatsoever. The rear seats have plenty of room for two adults, and the trunk is pretty spacious. At 645 liters floor to roof, it's well shaped and easy to load. You can choose between four different driving modes. You get comfort, normal, race, and individual. Obviously, individually, you can customize every single setting possible, in comfort, it is really comfortable and does a great job soaking up road imperfections and everything happens with no drama whatsoever. In normal, everything is progressively dialed up a bit and in race, you get the most aggressive settings for the gearbox, throttle response, the steering also gains some weight and everything is in race mode. In comfort mode, it does a great job soaking up bumps and the ride is composed with no drama involved. In race mode, it gets noticeably stiffer, but gets really rewarding once you hit those corners. The speed at which you can go around corners is mind-blowing. I mean, it's seriously impressive. The grip is immense. The all-wheel drive system works really well. The steering is good. The brakes are fantastic. I mean, from 100 kilometers an hour, it came to complete stop in 38 meters. That is crazy good. That's Porsche 911 territory. In contrast to other Golfs, in this one you can fully switch off the stability control if you want to have some, let's say, fun in the snow. Otherwise, there is no reason to do so. Just put it in sport mode and it will allow you to do all your clowning around minus kill yourself. So keep it in sport, keep it alive. It's there for a reason. Even on a cloudy day like this, stuck in traffic with no available sunroof, the sun is shining through because this Golf R is absolutely brilliant. It's definitely worth the extra money above the GTI. And you know what? It's seriously the only car I can think of right now at its price point that can go on the track and whoop some ass 
and then at the same time you can just go shopping with it and you know live with it it's brilliant